The biggest things I'll miss with the all-electric Toyota Tacoma. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? That's right, I wanted to talk about the biggest things that I'm gonna miss with the all-electric Toyota Tacoma. Now, first of all, you might say, well, wait a minute, there is no all-electric Toyota Tacoma. No, there isn't, not yet. But you know it's coming, right? It's the wave of the future. We are going to have an all-electric Tacoma. We're gonna have all-electric everything eventually. You may have seen recently GM is coming out with the all-electric Hummer. Hummer? It makes me wonder, first of all, why the Hummer? It's this big, giant beast, right? I mean, if they can power that thing with all of its size and weight, certainly they can power a Toyota Tacoma, and it's coming. You know it is, right? And this Hummer should be pretty cool if it does what it says they can do. All that torque, all that horsepower, even good charging time, or at least longevity of battery, right? Should be awesome. But first of all, there are a few good things about an all-electric Tacoma, right? Torque, it's gonna have plenty of torque. I mean, when you hit the gas, oof, it just, it hits, it goes, right? It'll be awesome. Acceleration, I love acceleration, right? I mean, off the line speed, nothing beats an all-electric vehicle. They are fast. Their zero to 60 times are phenomenal. They rival the super gas-powered cars, right? No gas to buy. You don't have to go to the gas station anymore, right? You can do it all at home. Just plug it in. But that can be bad as well. So here are the biggest things that I really will miss with the all-electric Tacoma. First of all, the freedom that you have with gas-powered vehicles, right? I think we take that for granted. You know, you're cruising along and you look down and you're starting to get low, so you look for a gas station. And they're everywhere, right? Every exit, every corner, they're all over the place. You just pull in, fill up, it takes what? Five minutes? You do everything right there at the pump and you're on your way, no big deal. We don't have electric charging stations all over the place, right? Matter of fact, I rarely see them. And if you live in a more remote part of the country, you know, down here in South Texas, they're around, but you gotta drive to find them, right? It's not like the gas station where if you just look down the street, there's two or three of them. They're everywhere. Home chargers. Home chargers, now this is kind of, there's a plus and a minus here, right? I mean, most of us don't have gas pumps at our house, right? So we just can't go out and fill up the tank. We actually have to go somewhere. With a home charger, you can just plug it in and let it go, right? It'll charge up just like your cell phone. The problem is there's a cost. There are a few costs to that. You know, you have to have somebody put one in, right? And if you go with one of those high powered, fast supercharger jobbies, they're not cheap. It's gonna cost you a bit of money to do it. You're also gonna have to pay somebody, an electrician, to come out and run the wiring and set that thing up. That's assuming that you have the capability to be able to hook one up. Where are you gonna put it? You know, you're gonna limit yourself in your garage. If you're like me and you have a garage, which I don't now, but I have in the past, sometimes I put my vehicle in different places. Once you have that home charger set up, that's it. It's gotta be there because it's gotta be near. Unless you have a cord that's like, you know, 80 feet long where you can reach it from your neighbor's house, you gotta be able to plug that thing in. Sound, this is the biggest thing, sound. You're not gonna get anything unless it's artificially included or added to the vehicle, right? You're not gonna get that V8 grumble, that sports car grumble, that nice throaty exhaust on your truck. You're not gonna have that with an electric vehicle. You're gonna hit the gas and it's just gonna roll. Now, that's a pretty cool feeling because it kind of feels like you're floating. At least for me, I kind of get that experience, right? When I hit the gas, you just kind of take off, right? but no sound. All you're gonna hear is your tires rolling across the gravel. Maybe, that's it. I don't know. That's probably, I would say that is the biggest thing that I'm gonna miss is the sound. Even though, like on the V6 Tacoma here, we don't get awesome sound out of it, but with that 
cold air intake that I've got on there and that TRD exhaust, I get a nice little melody when I'm driving, right? When I turn it on, I get just the faintest sound of a little bit of a grumble. We're not gonna have that with the electric car. It's gonna go away. The all electric Tacoma is gonna do away with all of that stuff. Now, I know there are gonna be people out there that say, well, you're gonna be able to get them. They're gonna be around. They're gonna go the way of the manual transmission. You know, the manual transmission for the last several years has been dying a very slow death. And as soon as these all electric cars, which I believe we're on the cusp of right now, really start to kick in, you're gonna see the same thing happen with the gas powered cars. They're gonna start to decline. Will it be in my lifetime? I don't know, probably, hopefully I'll live long enough to see it because I'm in no hurry to go anywhere else, but it is coming. And I think down the road, probably in the next maybe 10 years or so, you're gonna really start to see an influx of all electric Tacomas in the market. You know, the next gen, they're already talking about hybrids and, and even possibly a fully electric version, and they're gonna to have to do it to keep up. I mean, when you have GM coming out with an all electric giant Hummer, you know it's starting to head towards mainstream and they're all focusing on that. Now let's be realistic here. Dyno fluid doesn't last forever, right? It's going to deplete, it's going to be gone at some point, and we're gonna have no choice. Is the all electric Tacoma the answer? Probably not. A lot of people, a lot of reports that I've seen out there kind of state that the electric truck or the electric vehicle is just an intermediate step to the next level. But I think that intermediate step until we really, really perfect that next level is gonna be around for a while. So anyway, those are the biggest things that I'm gonna miss with the all-electric Tacoma. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Are you vehemently against an all-electric Tacoma? You know, really, except for the sound and the time that it takes to recharge, I don't know that it'd be a bad thing. Let me know what you think. Also, real quick, if you haven't before, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.